Hello golfers, Jeff Hales, PGA professional from Poppy Ridge Golf Course here. This, today what I'd like to teach you is something that I learned oh, about 1992 or 1993 and I was really impressed with this simple procedure to help with your golf swing. It's really good for beginners and intermediates and it's great for advanced golfers just to tune up your ball striking and work on work on your full swing. So let me show you what I learned. It's called hinge, turn, swing. Or it's also called three steps to a perfect backswing. I wish I invented it, but of course I did not. I, I use it quite a bit in my teaching practice and I use it for myself as well from time to time. There's also many practitioners of this method all around the globe that I've seen, and it's very, it's very successful. So let me show you how it goes. Take your stance, and it doesn't matter which club. You can take any club. And the first thing I want you to do is hinge with your wrists. Pick the club straight up with your wrists. The second move is to turn. And the final move is swing. Okay, so it looks like this. Hinge, turn, swing. Now, there's a couple rules. If you're going to do this correctly, there's a couple rules. I'll turn sideways so you can see. The first rule is that you have to hinge with your wrists. Don't lift with your arms. And don't change your spine angle at all. So it's just a wrist hinge. And the more wrist hinge you can do, the better. Okay, so a little tiny wrist hinge, if that's all you can do, that'll work. But if you can make a nice wrist hinge, that would be better. Okay, so first rule is good, good wrist hinge. The second rule is the shaft should bisect both arms. It should come up right between both arms. So when you hinge your wrists... The shaft should come up between your arms. It doesn't want to come up to the side. If it comes up to the front, you'll be above the plane. If it comes up to the back, you'll be below the plane. So hinge your wrists. Try and get the shaft right between your arms. Okay. The last rule is when you hinge, the club face position should be square or what's called pointed straight up and down. That's square. You don't want it closed or open okay so try and get that club face perfect when you hinge if you can get those three things in line go ahead and make your turn and then swing through I think you'll be a, be amazed at the contact and how straight the golf balls go all right that's it I hope this serves you well have a great day